Hello everyone, I'm Professor Ricardo, and in this video we are going to solve a quantum mechanics problem. This one is a problem of the book Modern Quantum Mechanics by Sakurai. So, suppose a 2x2 two two matrix, X, not necessarily Hermitian nor unitary, is written as A0 plus sigma A, where A0 and A1, A2 and A3 are numbers. First, uh, we are going to find how the coefficients a0 and ak are related to the trace of x and to the trace of sigma kx. And then we are going to, to find how these coefficients are related to the matrix elements xij, to the matrix elements of the matrix x. And we are going to solve this using index notation and using matrices as well. So first, using index notation. X is A0 plus sigma A. Of course, you know that X is a 2 by 2 matrix and you know that A0 is a number. So there is implicitly a 2 by 2 identity matrix multiplying A0 and the scalar product between sigma and A is a1 sigma 1 plus A2 sigma 2 plus A3 sigma 3, where the identity is uh, the diagonal elements are uh, equal to 1. Here is sigma 1, sigma 2, and th sigma 3. They are the Pauli matrices. You may uh, prefer to write them as sigma x, sigma y, and sigma z. And using index notation, we can write this as A0 times the identity plus a summation of AL sigma L, with L being equal to 1, 2, and 3. Okay, now, what is the trace of X? The trace of X, the trace of a sum, is going to be the sum of the traces. So, the trace of X is going to be the trace of this term and the trace of every term on the summation here. And it will result in A0, the trace of the identity, plus sigma L, AL, the trace of each sigma matrix. In this video, we present some useful properties of the Pauli matrices, and one of them is that the trace of each sigma is equal to zero, which is obvious since uh, the trace is the sum of the diagonal elements. So here, the trace of sigma 1 is going to be 0, 0, 1 minus 1, 0 as well. Okay, so these traces are 0. And since the trace of the 2 by 2 identity matrix is equal to 2, 1 plus 1, then the result is going to be 2 times A0. We now already obtained the relation between A0 and the trace of x. Now let's write what is sigma kx and then calculate the trace of, of it. So the sigma k multiplying x is going to be A0 sigma k, because sigma k multiplying the identity is going to be sigma k, plus the summation of AL sigma k sigma L. And the trace of it, the same idea, is going to be the trace of this term and then the trace of this term. So A0, the trace of sigma k, we already know that the trace of a sigma is, is going to be 0, plus AL, the trace of this product, sigma k, sigma L. So this is 0. And here, to calculate this trace, we have two scenarios. We, we need to consider two scenarios. When L is equal to k, so L is the index on this summation. When it is equal to k, then you will get sigma k squared, and sigma k squared is equal to the identity, another property of the Pauli matrices. And the trace of the identity, in the case of a two-dimensional matrices, uh, the trace of the identity is equal to 2. And when L is different to k, for instance, if k is equal to 2, and then L is going to be 1, 2, and 3, when, the, when it is equal to 2, 
we will have this, this uh, result. When L is equal to 1 or 3, then we will get this result that we are going to find now. So the trace of sigma k, sigma L, when, they, when L and k are different, this will be plus minus i, the trace of sigma m. Why? Because the product of two matrices is going to be i, the, the sigma with another index, where the sign of it uh, will depend on the Levitivita tensor. And it doesn't matter here if it's a cyclic or anticyclic sequence of these terms. Why? Because the trace of every sigma is equal to zero. Then this will result in uh, two. So we will get two ak. When l is equal to k, um, the, the trace is going to be two. Okay, then we get the result. We already have that a0 is equal to 1 over 2, the trace of x, and ak is 1 over 2, the trace of sigma k x. This is the, the answer. But uh, we can solve this problem uh, using matrix notation as well. Again, let's write, let's write this, uh, what is x, in terms of all these matrices, and then explicitly x is going to be equal to a0 multiplying the, uh, the identity, uh, so you have the diagonal elements here, you will get a0 and a0. Then a3 multiplying sigma3 on the, the diagonal elements again, so you will get a3 minus a3. And then a1 multiplying sigma1, you, you will get a1 here and a1 here plus a2 multiplying sigma2 minus i a2 plus i a2 here. Great. So, the trace of x, it's very simple. The trace of x is going to be 2 a0, which is exactly what we already found. And now let's calculate sigma k multiplying x. But First, we will calculate sigma 1 multiplying x, then sigma 2, then sigma 3. The first one, sigma 1 multiplying x. You need to multiply this matrix by this matrix here. So it will be 0, 1, the first line multiplying this first column, resulting in a1 plus i a2. The first line of sigma i, sigma 1, by the second, um, the second column resulting in a0 minus a3, then the second line, 1, 0, multiplying the first column, a0 plus a3, and then a1 minus i a2. So this is the, the, the matrix, and the trace of this matrix is very straightforward. This is 2 times a1. And again, a1 will be 1 over 2, the trace of sigma 1x, exactly as we already obtained. If you do the same, multiplying sigma 2 by x, you will get this matrix, and the trace of it is going to be, um, so this minus i a1 and i a2 will cancel out, and then you will get 2 times a2. And when you calculate sigma 3 x, you'll get this matrix, and summing the diagonal uh, elements, or in other words, calculating the trace, you will get 2 times a3. So we just verified that indeed this is the result when you calculate, when you solve this problem using um, matrices. So letter B. Let's obtain a0 and ak in terms of the matrix elements xij. So this is the matrix that we already found for x, and naturally x is equal to, to these four elements, x11, x12, x21, x22. The first index is the line, and the second index is the column. So we can use these relations that we obtained in the, the previous slides 
that a0 is equal to 1 over 2 the trace of x. So the trace of x is x1, 1 plus x2, 2 divided by 2, and this is exactly a0. And this is the relation between the a0 term and the matrix elements x, i, j. So x1, sigma1, x is equal to, so we need to multiply this matrix by this matrix here, then we will get a matrix containing the elements x, i, j. So first line by this first column will result in x2, 1. The first line by this one, x2, 2, and the other ones. So since we know that what is important here is uh, the diagonal elements, let's just focus on them. And we can find that a1 is going to be 1 over 2, the trace of sigma 1x, and the trace is going to be x12 plus x21. When you, we calculate sigma 2x, this is the result, and a2 is going to be 1 over 2, and then using i as a factor, writing i as a factor, we will get minus x21 plus x12, and the same for sigma 3x. A3 is going to be 1 over 2, x11 minus x22. And this is the result of letter B.